Okay, today's project is to take out the headliner and we're going to replace on the headliner. This Jaguar XJS of mine, it's an 88. Um, it's been sagging down. I bought new material off of Evil Bay, as they call it, and uh, we're gonna take it out, take out the headliner, figure that out, and replace it. Uh, the headliner was about 34 bucks delivered. Okay, I got the headliner down. I just had to use a putty knife to get it past those little hooks here it's tough to see i don't know if i can yeah it doesn't but once you drop the headliner down the uh the light the dome light you have to take off those wires and mark where they are the purple one goes towards the rear of the vehicle the black one towards the front of the vehicle and the i don't know if that's a blue so it's the purple with the white stripe goes towards the back on there the separate wire that's two different colors together goes on that little connector with the insulator so i gotta try to get that apart all right we got it out of the uh, passenger side uh, it was a little tight and bent it a little bit this material is the backing material is kind of flimsy old dry rotted whatever so i'm going to take off got to get all this foam off of here because the uh, headliner material got comes with the foam backer that's the only way you can really do a decent job of putting a headliner in uh, so I'm gonna get this prepped get this all this material off get all this foam off take it in the basement and then get it all cleaned up ready to go uh, and may even put in that uh, LED lighting in the ceiling of this like that star look with the fiber optics we'll see okay I got the headliner out those chunks you know came out of there I'm being very gentle with this to peel up get under here peel up the backing as this all has to come off uh, I may have to like fiberglass this here to kind of give it some strength. Not sure on that yet. I'm going to do some research to see how I can bring this edge back because we need something to glue the material to. Um, hey, one thing at a time. As with most projects, this is turning out to be bigger than originally anticipated. Never had the backing of a headliner in this rough a shape where it's cracking breaking it's just brittle so we're using some fiberglass resin with some fiberglass cloth and we're reinforcing where the cracks are I'm gonna smooth that out we're doing the I guess the downside first and we'll do the back of it to give it a little more strength uh, and then we'll continue working all right, here's the current situation besides having a mess on our hands. Reinforce the back side with wire coat hangers and the front lip, back lip with fiberglass. And the idea is now it can lift this up in one piece and then with these wires, I'm going to mate the two and fiberglass that all in, get it ready for the new material. That's the plan. See if it works. It was the big uh, section that cracked in the center. Uh, this is the center, well, this is the back center right here, closest to the rear glass. So I did uh, reinforce this with. Uh, fiberglass the mesh so 
I'll wait till all this cures. I got to rebuild out this section. These pieces all broke apart. This thing's in pretty tough shape. Because the headliner backer was so brittle, I wanted to show how I reinforced it on the top of the headliner, like on the back side where the material isn't. I used coat hangers. I straightened them out just for the wire. So all the parts that cracked when I was you know moving the headliner material it would it would crack I would cut out a piece of fiberglass uh, and put coat hanger across to give it some rigidity and then I use uh, fiberglass resin and hardener and then on the front side where the material goes because that was all basically uh, crumbling and falling apart that wasn't a good surface I went to Walmart I bought this is like blanket material woven blanket material I used this on the side that I put the uh, material on with the with the foam backer and I used the resin with that that made this strong and hard for the most part smooth I just I took a DA and sanded down anything that wasn't. All right, I got the two big pieces back together. This, uh, what I thought was going to be a simple project, turned into just that, a project. Pretty much a dumpster fire, so reconnected the two pieces. I'm going to start on this side, wait for this to cure, work to that side, put some more matting down, wait for that to cure flip it over, rebuild these corners that all, I mean this is just crumbly, it's just garbage. Uh, and then I'll probably line the entire other side of it, which is what the material goes on, reline that with uh, fiberglass meshing, and then hopefully with these wire reinforcements, all of that, um, all of this will make it whole again and then I can put the uh, material back on it. Now, now I gotta bring this material back here like this and pull this tight like so. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna fit this down here like this. Stretch it, fit it. In here. So we're smoothing it out as we lay some down. So I'm gonna just take some more of this material and put it down where we just did so that it's soaking in and get this as smooth as possible. This is going to be the backer for the material we're putting on. I guess we'll just have to do this in sections. That's good. Nice picture here, patient. <laughs> Actually, the material seemed to work pretty good. I'm gonna go over this with a DA to take down any high spots. I'm trimming these edges back where I had the material go over. Smooth that out. Uh, once I get it all smooth and it's cured enough, this is still drying a little bit. I'll DA out all the imperfections, smooth them, and then we'll fit it up into the car make sure that this one piece headliner which is now solid fits this was a few hour project that turned into a four day project in just a lot of time hopefully it turns out all right now that i got the uh, edges rough trimmed i'm going to da all the high spots and get it smoother find my low spots and then i'll fill those in Okay, put a skim coat of body filler in at the center. I'm going to work my way out to the edges until I got it.
so it looks pretty good. Probably put a coat of paint on there just to cover up the fiberglass and then have something for the adhesive to stick to. Alright, step 55. I got a headliner trimmed and I just coated this side with some Z grip body filler. Okay, I have the backer board for the headliner. Uh, I got a coat of paint on there just to give the glue something better to stick on. I got 150 plus holes drilled for the light system. Getting ready to put the material on. In case I didn't film this, this is what the headliner material looks like. There's a foam backer on it. This is the cut that I used. This is the actual material that you see facing you and the foam is what gets glued to the headliner backer. Okay, I laid out the adhesive following the instructions, which is something new for me. Uh, first coat goes one direction, second coat will go the other direction, five minutes in between coats, two to three coats. I also put it on the foam material there, and then while it's still tacky, I would here the two and see if it turns out. I just laid down half of the material, glued it down to the backer. I gotta do the other side. I know material glued on, I'm just trimming out the edges. I gotta trim out the holes for the sun visors in the rear view mirror. I'm gonna run the fiber optic light kit. The headliner's got the material on it. I'm running that on the driver's side rear quarter, well I guess it would be the C-pillar, and I'm hot gluing each individual strand of the fiber optic in after cutting it like a knife sharp so I can poke through the headliner material. Alright, I got the material on and I'm starting to run the Starlight fiber optic kit. Get all the holes drilled and I'm using uh, hot glue gun to glue each individual strand in. I'm cutting the fiber optic sharp like a needle and then poking it through the material and keeping the strands pretty equal length. That's going to go down in the driver's side rear C-pillar because that's where I'm going to put that uh, light module. Anyways, that's what I got. Finally got all those fiber optics poked through. Got the module hooked up so you can see, you know, on the back side what it looks like. And then I gotta turn this over, trim all of the fiber optics, and then just make sure that everything is going as it should. But looks kind of cool from the back side. Show you the front side in a minute. Alright, I got the headliner all set to go back in the car. I do have it hooked up so you can see what it looks like when yeah when it, it's turned on and you shut it off you really can't tell it's there so I just got done setting the headliner in place uh, this is what the headliner looks like and it looks fairly normal you can see some dimples from the installation of this kit so put this on and you can see it's got the uh, star glow kit or whatever you want to call it. Pretty neat. And you shut it off and it looks fairly normal. Put it in my 1988 Jaguar XJS because the headliner was falling down on me. Figured why not make it custom. Here's a look at the final product. You pretty much can't tell that the fiber optic uh, starlight kits in it. I did refinish those two back pieces also as uh, the material on those were in tough shape. Okay, it's going to be tough to see because it's at night. I'm trying to get give you an idea what this looks like at night. The headliner's in. We'll plug it in. There's the headliner. You can kind of see 
There's different features to this star shower kit.